Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I'm sorry for this rather uh, unprofessional, more so than usual setup that I've got going on behind me today and this video is going to be slightly less edited so bear with me uh, in case I do make a few mistakes but I wanted to bring you a quick video basically talking about Windows 10. So I put together a new budget PC a couple of days ago and decided I wanted to include Windows in the price as it's the operating system that I'm sure most of you guys would want to use, more specifically Windows 10. Now I've got Windows 10 Professional on my personal PC and so that's the operating system I wanted to go with. I've seen a few videos where you can get it quite cheap, um, namely the Paul's Hardware video where he got it for $20 and I was thinking about doing that. I also saw the Nerd on a Budget video where he uh, still uses the trial or unactivated version of Windows and of course there are a few other options that I probably shouldn't talk about, of course, if you're willing to go down that route to obtain a free copy of Windows 10. But I decided to head on over to eBay and see just how cheaply I could find a key for that was apparently 100% legitimate. So I was actually quite surprised to see some of these prices. I mean, they're selling Windows 10 professional 64-bit slash 32-bit genuine keys for less than £3. That's roughly $3.85 around that ballpark region uh, at the time of this video and at first just like any of you guys would be I'm sure I was a little suspicious to say the least now these are listed as scrap OEM keys meaning that they have to be sold with the original piece of hardware that they were originally shipped with in this case it's namely the motherboard loads of people are selling these for less than three pounds and loads of people also say that they will ship a free motherboard with every purchase of an individual key or a broken computer. Now I find that quite hard to believe given the price tag it would cost more to ship a motherboard than they're actually charging for the keys and my suspicions on that front were confirmed once I actually purchased a key for $2.95 you'll see here in the email along with the uh, product code that I've bled out at the top there that they do mention that I won't be getting that motherboard anytime soon. But apparently it is an optional extra should I wish to pay extra shipping. Now of course most people who buy these keys don't want that option. No one wants a broken motherboard that they can't do anything with if they don't know about PC components. But skipping ahead a little bit here, does the key actually work? More importantly, is it worth buying a product key for Windows 10 that costs literally less than the price of a sandwich? Um, well, today we're going to find out. So the instructions that were included with the purchase of this key said that I had to make a copy using the Windows 10 Media Creation Kit which I have done and I've put that on a CD right here as you can see this is my legit looking copy on a Tesco DVD of my Windows 10 backup professional um, so I went ahead and actually installed Windows 10 on my system as you can see we've got Windows 10 installed and it appears to be fully activated using the code that I got on eBay. So I can't speak for all of the sellers, but the one I used anyway was offering it for that pretty fantastic price and it does seem to be legitimate and working. So I have to admit I'm a little disappointed as a budget PC user that I didn't get my free broken motherboard because that would have been a lot of fun to sort of tinker about with in my spare time. But having said that, would I recommend purchasing a cheap product key for Windows 10 off of sites like eBay and other online retailers? Well, to be honest, guys, it's hard to tell, and I can't really give you an answer on that just yet. I will be updating you in a few months' time to let you know what happened, because who knows, I may get that little watermark pop back up that says my Windows isn't activated, or whatever Windows 10 does these days. But I think if you're looking for a very cheap and very quick solution, and then you can't really go wrong at that price, but bear in mind most of these sellers do say that they cannot offer you a refund. I think if you're on a tight budget, adding another three pounds or five dollars to that budget for your overall system really is no money at all. Like I say, I'll update you guys in a few months to let you know what happens with this uh, budget software. Um, but as for this video, sorry if I've sounded like I'm a little bit sad or quiet, my throat is hurting quite a bit today and I've got a bit of a headache, but hopefully I'll be back to my good old self in the next one. So thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you all next time.